Qualcomm launched the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor a few months ago, but Samsung was nowhere to be seen in the company's official list of partners. A few days later, it was revealed that Samsung would use a special version of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 in the Galaxy S23 lineup, and that appears to be true. The folks over at 9to5 Google claim to have seen a document that mentions the Galaxy S23's chipset as Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 mobile platform for Galaxy. According to the information available right now, this version of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 has slightly higher clock speeds for its prime CPU core and the GPU, which should theoretically result in higher performance. However, only time will tell how good the chipset is. The report also discusses the possibility of the chipset being manufactured using Samsung Foundry's 4 nanometer process rather than TSMC's 4 nanometer technology. However, it is based on a past rumor which we no longer believe to be accurate. We don't expect any changes in the chipset manufacturer compared to the standard Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. More pricing details for the upcoming Galaxy S23 series have emerged, this time for Samsung's home market, South Korea. And it's a bit of mixed news. The leak suggests that the Galaxy S23 series won't get as big of a price hike as the previous rumors suggested, but it will be slightly more expensive than the Galaxy S22 at launch. According to a leaked material, with the courtesy of at Gary and Han, the base Galaxy S23 with 256 and 512 GB of storage will cost 1,155,000. $931 and $1,276,001. dollars respectively. The Galaxy S23 Plus with 256 and 512 GB of storage will cost $1,353,000. $1,091 and $1,276,001. million respectively. And last but not least, the top-tier Galaxy S23 Ultra will set customers back $1,599,401, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,